Um, to be honest, when I first took it out of the package and tried it on, girl, I was like, uh-uh, girl, you giving, you giving Usher Deaconess on her day off. It's giving, I just finished my Usher service um, from church, earlier church service. Now I'm going to Popeye's to have lunch, child, and I'm going back to church for Bible study. <laughs> Trent said I got style for you Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you Big you up and they look down on you Take one loss, no one's around for you I won't stop Hello my YouTube fam, I'm Kiana and this is Kiana's Creative Closet So today, my loves, this video is a collective haul um, I've been picking up a few things from some of the sales. Y'all know this is the time of year when we have when we have plenty of sales. It starts with the Veteran Day sales and it goes on to your Black Friday, um, your Christmas sales, and your After Christmas and New Year's sales. So um, if you're kind of like on a budget and you don't like to spend um, retail price on items, this is the perfect time to shop. The pieces that I'm showing you today are pieces that I picked up from the Veterans Day sale. So um, I shopped on Veterans Day. Um, I received most of the pieces um, a few days later and then some of the pieces trickled in maybe about a week later. Um, I wanted to do this video right before, um, what was that, the Thanksgiving holiday, but um, y'all, I was so busy the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I decided to go ahead and wait until after the holiday to do this video because I did not want to feel rushed. And at first I was going to give y'all the video and just showing you the pieces, maybe trying it on. But I decided I wanted to style it up a little bit. So this is going to be a haul slash styling video. Um, I just decided to pull some things together earlier this morning. <laughs> so it may not be... Um, my typical style when I'm pulling out everything, bags and things like that. But I'm definitely going to style it, do a bare minimal style for you so you can see how I will wear some of the pieces. Um, as well as we have a sponsorship, so we want to talk a little bit about that in the first portion of this video. So if you think that's some of you're interested in seeing, continue on watching. But before we start, if you are new here and you love fashion like I do, please subscribe down below. Turn on your notifications. That's that little bell right next to the subscribe button. And to my OGs, welcome back, boo. <laughs> Thanks for the continued support. All right, so let's hop into it. Okay, my love, so we're going to start the video off with the sponsorship. So a company by the name of Fitville reached out to me, and they sent me a couple of pair of shoes for review on my channel. Yeah, Fitville is a company that bases their products. They, they do shoes, and then they have accessories, but their shoe products are based on comfort, comfort and support. So they sell athleisure type of sneakers that you can wear to the gym. They sell your regular casual type of sneakers that you can just run errands with, you know, go and run your errands with. Or you can just, you know, if you just that type of girl who does not like um, heels and things like that. So they have those type of shoes as well as your more dressed up shoes that you can wear to the office. They have um, loafers. Um, meals, your loafer style meals, they have ballet flats. So they just have an array of shoes that is built for comfort and support. And that's very important for people like me who may have issues with their foot or ankle or knees and you need that extra support. Um, I'm going to show you, I picked out two pair that I feel like are fitting for me. And I'm going to show you both of those pair. But before I jump into it, they don't only just sell shoes. They sell accessories as well for people who need the extra support in the gym. Or if you're having some type of issues with your feet. If you have plantar fit, um, foot. If you have um, if you have a fallen arch. If you are flat footed. So that's what I mean when I say support. They um, I saw that they have braces for your knee. If you have knee issues like myself. Um, they have ankle brace um, braces. They have um, things that you can sleep in if you have plantar feet and you're trying to correct that. So I just wanted to let you know that as well. They have very nice shoes, but they also sell accessories as well. So let me show you the shoes real quick before we jump into the hole. 
So my loves, these are the first pair of sneakers that I picked up. And let me put one down. I hope that it is focusing on the shoe. Y'all, I love this shoe. Y'all know I was going to love this shoe because it's in my favorite color, purple. Y'all know I love purple, and this is my favorite shade of purple, which is a lavender. So this shoe, it has it's a white background, but it has stone, lavender, and green accents, which is so lovely. Um, I love that the logo on this shoe is not real big, you see that it only has that small F there. I'm not real big on really large logos on shoes, so this was perfect for me. This shoe is really comfortable. You see how, with the support part, how it's um, thinner here, and then it goes up to a sturdy sole here. And that is perfect because it's built the same way in the inside of the shoe. It has like a dip for your arch, so it's very um, comfortable, and it gives you arch support. Um, I haven't worn these out yet, but I have worn them around the house, and they are definitely very comfortable. Just enough cushion, not too much, not not enough. You know, it's it's not too much cushion. You know how sometimes things just be act too cushiony, um, but they definitely have enough cushion in it for support. Um, I got these because I can wear these to the gym as well as I can style them up with outfits. Y'all know I have a lavender vest that matches this very perfectly. So you will be seeing me styling these in a future video with my vest. I will wear these with just a pair of straight leg jeans, a, a, um, a long sleeve top, and a vest. You know, my lavender vest over top of this. So I'll definitely be styling these. I definitely got these because I can wear them to the gym as well as I can style them up. I love them. These are in a size 10. Get your correct size. These run true to size, so you don't have to size up thinking, oh, um, you know, some brands you, you're not sure of, so you think, let me get a half size bigger. No, go with your correct size with these. But I love them. I love these shoes. The next pair of shoes are shoes that I got to wear to the gym. I definitely will be wearing these to the gym. Um, I'm back on my healthy fit life journey. So I got these. These are really good for gym wear. I love the color. I love that it's kind of like a neutral color, but it has a pop of color with the blue in the shoe. Now these ones have the larger logo on them. You see the F for Fitville. It kind of reminds you of the Fila type of um, logo. Um, I'm not a big fan on this bigger logo, but you know, it is what it is. I don't think it looks bad. It doesn't look tacky. Um, but these will be worn in the gym. They are the same as the other. They have a thinner sole here, and then they go up in the back. They also have a lot of support in the inside. That is something very important for me because I, I am flat-footed. So I need a, a higher arch for me to be comfortable, for my foot to be comfortable for a long period of time. So I love these. Definitely will be wearing these to the gym. It was another pair. I'm going to pop up a couple pair of shoes Oops, that I had in mind from them. It was a pair that looked like a creeper that I was my, my first choice, but they did not have those in my size. So that's why I opted for another pair of um, gym style shoes, but they were so cute. They had they came in cream as well as they came in black and they had a thick sole That would have been something so cute for me to do my styling videos When I want a whole dressed up dress down moment, but unfortunately they didn't come in my size I will be stocking the site to see if they are going to restocking those um, And then they had another pair of chunky style loafers, but they were in a meal They had the cutout in the back those were ador were adorable. They came with a, a silver um, chain strap on them. Or I think you could have got them in gold, if I'm not mistaken. They were really cute. I hopefully will be popping pictures of these things up on the screen. And then they had an adorable pair of ballet flats. They were in sequins and they were leopard print. Those were so cute for the office. But I definitely will be getting some wear out of these shoes. Thank you, Fitville, for sending me these shoes. And I love them. Um, I do have a discount code that will be here 
on the bottom of the screen as well as I will put them on the in the description box where you can get a percentage off if you make a purchase with Fitville. But they are definitely good to try out. These are very comfortable shoes and have support that you can wear to the gym as well as you can wear on your daily, you know, wear when you're doing your daily errands um, or if you're just getting fit, girl, and you ain't that heel type girl. They are comfortable and a fraction of the price that you will pay for some of your um, brands that, you know, um, are kind of like luxury or um, known brands. So try them out. So let's go ahead and jump into the haul and what I got with the at the Veterans Day sale. Okay, my love. So um, I'm not going to do this in any type of order. I'm just going to show you the pieces. But this is the first piece, this top. And I picked this up from Nasty Gal, you guys. Y'all, I love this top. I feel like it's it just elevates any type of basic outfit. Um, I love the feathers. Y'all know feathers are really much on trend this year, this season. So I wanted to pick up a few items that had feather in it. And then I love the color. This is in a magenta style color. And this one just has the feathers around the bottom of the top for someone if you don't like um, all of the extraness. Because, you know, they do have tops nowadays where it's like feather all throughout the top so if you just like a basic girl and you want to try the trend but you don't want to overly do it this is the type of way to to go by you know with just a little bit of feathers at the bottom trim of the um blouse as well as i feel like feathers during the holidays just elevates a look i feel like this is something i'll definitely wear um if i was going to the office i'm gonna show you why of course it's a vest so this time of season, you have to wear something over top of it. And even in the office environment, I don't really like having all of my arms out. So I'm going to show you in a minute how I will wear it, how I will style it up. For like if um, I'm going to the office or even if I'm going to like a lunch date, dinner date, um, something that, you know, you want to still look professional, but you want to kind of give that, you know, I'm professional, but... I speak fashion, honey. <laughs> this is the back. Um, so it is like a crop top style of shirt. This one has an exposed zipper all the way up the back. I don't have it all the way zipping because I need some help for that. And my husband is asleep at the moment. But I just decided to pair her with a pair of black trousers. And then I have on these leopard print um shoes that I picked up from Fashion to Figure, if I'm not mistaken, earlier during the year. I'm going to throw on a blazer because, of course, if you are wearing her to work, or well, shoot, if you wear her out, either way, it doesn't have any sleeves. So you would need something on over top. So this is a kind of a way that I would wear her to work. Um, on one of those days, I work in a business casual um, type of environment. So I would wear this on one of those days where I have a meeting or um, and I'm presenting or something like that and I want to look extra ballsy, I would wear her. Um, you can also wear something like this to a holiday party. Um, offices around this time are having um, parties, whether it's just a casual type, type of party or if it's a, something a little bit more elevated, but I think this is cute. It's giving balls. It's giving balls shit. <laughs> it's giving bad bitch. <laughs> I love her, y'all. I love her. I think she's cute. Now, I could have threw on a pair of black pumps, and that's what I was thinking of when I came up with this outfit, but then I decided I want to do something a little bit more um, fashion forward instead of wearing all black. You know, anybody is going to think of wearing all black with something like this from the shoe on up to the pants and to the um, the, the, the third layer and piece. But me, I'm going to think of the box. So I decided to wear her with these leopard um, mules. And I think it blends really good. And then you can throw on a bag. So I will probably do this clutch. Ain't she getting sophisticated, honey? She's giving sophisticated. She's giving, she's got money. She's got class. <laughs> this is the back of her. 
So I love this outfit. I'm looking in the viewfinder. I think she's cute. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I think she's cute. I feel like this is very cute to wear in the office. If you work in kind of like um, corporate setting, um, where you like to do the dang thing all the time, or I would wear this to dinner with my husband if we were going to some, somewhat of like an Eddie B's or Ruth Chris, you know, more of your luxury style eateries. I think this would do it. It's giving balls, honey. It's giving money. It's giving class. It's giving everything it needs to give. <laughs> but tell me what you think about this look. Hello. So this is the next piece, and it is this Trish style faux leather, faux patent leather style um, jacket. And y'all knew <laughs> that when I saw this, I had to pick her up because, of course, she's purple. She's purple, so I knew I had to get her. And I love her, you guys. Um, I seen this trench um, coat on Nasty Girl a couple of months ago. But, girl, I was like, no way, Jose, honey, because she resale for $300 and seven dollars and i was like three hundred and seven dollars <laughs> three hundred and seven dollars so i was like mm -mm, not buying her but i stalked her you guys and she went on sale during the veterans day sale she went all the way down i think to like a hundred and three dollars so i was like mm -hmm, i'm getting her girl you like mm-hmm I'm getting her. I'm going to squeeze my tiny ass up in this. Yes, girl. <laughs> Y'all, what movie am I quoting? <laughs> what movie am I quoting? I play too much. But I decided to pick her up on the sale. Y'all, I love trench coats. Y'all been watching for a while. Y'all will know that. If I could get a trench coat in every single color, I would. Rather it's leather, um, faux leather, wool, plaid cotton it does not matter i just love me a good trench coat anything with a belt is very flattering on pear shaped woman so i decided to pick her up today i just style her casually i wanted to do like a dress up dress down type of moment i think this is giving you a little bit of street style flair from the monochromatic looks to kind of like the oversized trench coats the trousers with sneakers and then i did want to show you how i would wear the fit build sneakers um if i was wearing them outside of the gym and i wanted to incorporate them into a outfit so this is something perfect now i have on a turtleneck today you could i could have one for maybe like a graphic tee with this outfit to funk it up a little bit to give it even more of that street style flair but I decided to go ahead and go with this because I was going to wear something totally different. And this came to me last minute. This is something that you can definitely wear to the office if you're in a casual type of office environment. This will be cute. Definitely for me because um, it's more practical for me to wear sneakers in the office on certain parts of the year. Um, I, we do a lot of moving. So... I think she's cute, even though it's um, different shades of purple. Now, it's hard to match up exact shades of purple. It is so hard. Even when it comes to, like, you know, when you're doing pastries and stuff. I had a friend of mine, a neighbor, who did cupcakes for me for our anniversary party, and I was telling her that I wanted purple, like, icing. And she was telling me, girl, it's going to be hard. You know, it's really hard when it comes to mixing the food color to come up with the purple color of purple. So, yeah, purples are hard to match exactly on. Even though we have multiple different colors of purple, I still feel like it works. I still feel like it works. Now, I could throw on a purple handbag with this and keep it fully monochromatic. Or I can do some in black. You can do some in white. I love the contrasting um, stitching in this um jacket it makes it very funky it makes it very interesting and it makes it look a little bit more expensive i could also wear all white um number have an all white moment i'm sorry y'all my son always runs in and out of this damn house i can have um you know do an all white moment because of the white stitching in this it's just multiple things that i can do with this trench coat you will definitely see this style up again y'all i love this trench coat this is the back this is a traditional style trench coat 
because of the lapels you have the wrist straps here um the belt is a belt let me undo it for you guys the belt does it's very structured um it's a good one where if you want to pull it in tight as tight as you want it will hold because it does have um the holes in the belt and then it does have the buckle here that you know you can't put it in a hole so that will hold like that but i don't ever wear it like that i just pull it together tie it and let it be it's more effortlessly but this is how it looks open it's oversized and if i'm not mistaken this is in a size 20 i could have one down to an 18 because you as you can see it's very large but i'm okay with that because i can wear it with thicker sweaters um in the winter because you know um trench coats are not that heavy so i prefer it oversized because i can wear something much thicker um in the winter under it without it looking too bulky so tell me what you think about the trench coat tell me what you think but i wasn't paying no 307 nasty girl the lost their mind i don't know what they've been doing lately yes their quality has been much better their quality has been much better you guys because this is really weighted but at the same time come on 307 dollars like really that's a like a contemporary luxury brand for that price so uh, yeah tell me what you think and so these are the next few pieces that we're going to talk about um we're going to start with the top the top is from nasty gal now y'all have seen this top all over the place um it's a um, dupe for a contemporary designer that you saw all of the kind of it girls wear during the I think it was early spring where, you, where they kind of introduced this top it could have been um, yeah I think it was early spring or late winter of last um, season but you saw these type of tops all over the place I knew it was a matter of time before you found these on some of the plus size um, vendors sites and I found it on Fashion Nova as well as Nasty Girl. Um, I found it somewhere else, but I can't really remember. But I know um, the main place where I wanted to pick it up from was Nasty Girl because Nasty Girl goes up, I think, to a 3X. I think the ones on Fashion Nova only went up to either XXL or either 1X. The only thing about it is these retail on the Nasty Girl site, I think, for about $76.00. And I just wasn't willing to pay $76 for it because it's not like feathered all the way through. I think the, the contemporary brand, it has feathers all the way around from front to back. This one has an elastic panel in the back. And I just felt like with that elastic panel, it was not giving me $76. So, of course, this went on sale during the Veterans Day sale. So, I was like, okay, here's the time to get it. I think it went on sale for only about... 30 ish dollars no more than 42 or something in that range so i decided to pick it up and i love it nasty gal have these types of tops in an array of colors um they have a purple a lavender purple which i started to get but at the same time i feel like i will get more use out of the green because i have more things to go with the green they have it in black i think they have it in a pink um they have it in a lot of different colors I picked this up in a size, um, girl, I don't know the size. I can't even remember the size, but I'll put it down somewhere here what size this is. Um, but I think I should have went down a size because this is a little too big for me. I'm going to turn around and show you the back. Girl, this skirt we're going to talk about in a minute. This is too big as well. But if you see, it has the elastic through the back and it's a little it's very stretchy but it's a little too big for me i want it to be a little bit more um constricted constrictive so i'm going to take this to my cinctures and have her tighten it a little bit and that elastic on the back of the shirt but this is cute it's giving fashion girl it's giving party holiday party looks i probably wouldn't wear this other than kind of like this time of year um in the spring and summer it was it was cute it was giving fashion girl but i feel like this is more festive so i decided to pair her with this skirt this is also new in i picked this up from asos this is the skirt that you have seen quite a few of your plus size content creators wear my boutasha hold this 
um, a few months ago. She picked this up from ASOS. Now, I didn't jump on the bandwagon with this skirt for a minute because I necessarily um, don't always feel like the skirts, the straight line skirts that had the slit in the middle is flattering on my figure. But it was on sale, so I was just like, let me give it a try. I have been looking for, this is a maxi limb. I have been looking for a maxi limb denim skirt for a very long time. But I wanted it in a traditional blue denim. And I wanted it kind of like A-line. I wasn't really looking for a straight line um, type of skirt. But I still feel like it works. It looks pretty nice. It doesn't look bad. Now, I know this skirt is in a size 22. I decided to go up because this skirt does not have any stretch. If it does, it may be, it may have maybe 1% stretch in it, but it's not much. So I would say um, you may want to go up if you are curvy. If you are not curvy and maybe apple shave or inverted triangle, you can stay your normal size. But I think it's cute. It's like in an ash tone wash type of black. I think that is very cute. I decided to pair her today with just a pair of um, Kelly Green um, Slingback Mills that I picked up from Shein, I think, last year. Now, the 22 fits perfect. It's giving me a little bit of suction in the mid area, which I love. When you have that 100% kind of cotton type of denim, um, there and it's thicker, it's a little bit more structured. So it will pull you in a little bit. Um, but the only thing about it is, it is big. I don't want to show y'all my thong, but it is pretty big at the waist. And that's normal for me um, when it comes to anything jean. So I'm just going to take this to my seamstress and get her to do a little nip tuck in the waist so it can fit me perfectly. But I like the fit. I feel like it's fit. it's it fits well in the thigh area. It's giving me that kind of bad yaddy in the thigh. It's not too big in the thigh area. It's not too tight. It's very comfortable. I styled it like this today, but of course, um, it is getting cold. We're going, we're close to the winter months. So you can definitely pair this with a pair of knee high black boots and that will be a cute look as well. I'm about to show you another piece that you can throw on over top of this that I picked up from ASOS as well because this is not that practical in this weather to be going out with your arms, your shoulders, and things like that out. You can pair a white button down under this. You can pair like a mesh see-through type of tool type of shirt under this. Um, it's so many different things you can do to kind of make it weather appropriate. But hold on a sec. I'm about to show you another new in piece that could work. Or may not, but I'm going to show you. Hold on a sec. Okay, so I also picked up this denim, like, shirt. It's a jean shirt. It's kind of giving you, I got the pink one here. It's kind of giving you shacky in a sense, but at the same time, um, it's a little bit thinner. So it's it's a little bit thinner to me than a shacky. So it's definitely, to me, giving me more of a thicker style jean shirt. So you can wear it like this kind of thrown over your arms um, or you can put it on the arms and kind of you know scrunch the sleeves up let me see what it's giving scrunch the sleeves up I'm just showing you this um, together I would not would not definitely would not pair this together <laughs> I wouldn't pair it together I brought the jean shirt this jean shirt because it kind of matches it's not a dead on match but it kind of matches a little with the jean skirt but getting it and pairing it together I do not like the shirt um I'm going to send this shirt back yeah I'm not feeling it I feel like it's a little bit all for the skirt um it can work but I'm just not liking it. I'm not liking this slimline skirt with um, the jacket. I, I just, I'm not feeling it. Maybe if the skirt wasn't so fitted, I can do, you know, like a street style look with a pair of knee high combat boots and maybe it will work. But it definitely doesn't work with this style of top with um, the skirt. Now, if I did want to keep the jacket, I would probably, um, let me see. 
I could wear these boots. These are kind of like a gray tone boot, um, snake skin. I probably could button this up, um, leave a couple of buttons open, throw on these boots, and have a whole moment. But it definitely doesn't pick good with um, with this green shirt. The shirt is a little bit too dressy for the look. But I wanted to still show you the shirt. But I won't be keeping it. Yeah, I don't see the purpose of this shirt because I definitely brought it to wear with the skirt and I just don't see myself pairing it together. Now, this does have the big pocket, so it's almost like cargo style of shirt. Now, if I brought it for a whole look, but you, if I wanted to keep this, I would just throw this on with just a pair of, I have another pair of Ash Home black jeans that I picked up from Fashion Nova last year. I should have probably showed you the outfit, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> but I do have a pair of jeans where I could have worn this open with those jeans on. Maybe a white tank top or a white bodysuit and a pair of combat boots. But I don't think I would pull, pull for this. Probably not at all. So I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to send it back. Um, I think this is in a size... 18 if I'm not mistaken and it is oversized so this is her but I definitely will be keeping the skirt and I will be keeping the top and I will be pairing these in so many different ways I'm going to show you another way in the upcoming um, video that I will wear this top I have something totally planned for this I'm going to pair it with my green leather trousers that I got from Eloquy. I'm going to put a mesh black um, shirt underneath of it and then a pair of black boots and I'm going to let y'all see. I have already tried that outfit on. I was on the way to Thanksgiving dinner but I opted for something else. But this is the top and the skirt. I just did a quick styling. I necessarily probably wouldn't wear this together but I love both. I will wear them separately. I decided to stop being lazy, y'all, and throw, um, take the shirt off and throw on the boots just to show y'all what I'm talking about. So I was thinking, like, when I first saw the shirt and the um, skirt, to do something like this. A whole jean on jean, because y'all know that's very trendy at the moment. So I was thinking, okay, I can do the jean shirt and the jean skirt. But I just feel like it's just not... It's not coming into what I need it to be. I just feel like the skirt is so slim fitted that you'll be able to see the bulk here in the belly area. Now, it's things that you can do to kind of take down on the bulk, but I don't have time for that. I just feel like it's, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. But if um, the skirt was maybe a little larger, I would have to probably get it another size larger and get it taken down in the waist even more. Um, it could have worked, but I, I still feel like it would. And I feel like if I had maybe like an A-line type of skirt on, jean skirt, then maybe so. But um, if it worked, this would kind of be the look that I was going for. Um, because you kind of have the grayness and the boots would kind of blend perfectly with the ash tone of the jean. Let me see. Girl, them feathers be everywhere, y'all. But, um, yeah, this is kind of what I was going for. It just didn't, it didn't resonate the way I needed or wanted it to. So, I'm going to send the shirt back. That's why the tag is still on. <laughs> okay, my love. So, this is the next look. Um, and this is also a denim jean skirt that I picked up from ASOS. Um, this one, you guys, I thought I wasn't going to like it, but it's kind of growing on me. This was in the pile of Sinback as well. Um, to be honest, when I first took it out of the package and tried it on, girl, I was like, uh-uh, girl, you giving, you giving Usher Deaconess on her day off. It's giving, I just finished my Usher service. Um, from church, earlier church service, now I'm going to Popeye's to have lunch, child, and I'm going back to church for Bible study. 
that's a, that is what this skirt was giving me when I first took it out the bag. I ain't gonna even lie. And no shade on my um, deaconesses and my usher, my usher ladies, the usher board, because y'all, y'all know I am totally a woman of faith. And I do church, honey. <laughs> but it was just giving me that. It was just, it was it was giving me that. It was giving me change up out of the um Usher uniform, honey. Go have lunch and something comfortable and come back to <laughs> the outside. Yeah, let me stop playing. But um now that I have it on and kind of dressed it up, I feel a little bit different. I still think I'm going to send it back because I really don't see how much wear I would get out of this. Now, when I picked this up off of the ASO site, I actually thought this was black denim or kind of like um, close to the one I just shown you, but just a darker kind of ash wash. I probably wasn't paying attention or didn't read the description. Um, but when I got it, this is a very dark indigo type of blue. And then it's trim. It has... Um, the brown contrasting, which I do love that it's a dark denim with the brown contrasting, um, contrast stitching, but, um, I don't know if it's for me. <laughs> it looks a little dated. It's, um, giving a little bit more mature. Now, I love the fit of it in the leg because it's just skimming my body, whereas the, the other skirt that I showed you previously is kind of hugging my curves. This one is just skimming. So this is more appropriate to kind of wear in the office. Um, another thing is that this one is way too big. This, you guys, has a lot of space in the back of this skirt. So I would definitely have to get her tailored down in the waist. And y'all, I tell y'all, if y'all not for sure that you're going to wear a piece and it fits kind of funky and you know you have to take it to, to your seamstress, um, to get alterations, be sure about it because I'm telling you, it is so expensive to get these items tailored to your body type. Y'all, I just spent upwards of about $1,300 in the last six to seven months getting things altered for me. So I had to take a break. <laughs> I had to take a break from the alterations, baby. But... Another thing is, let me hold it in the back because I don't want to turn to the side and you see my tail. It has the slits on each side of the skirt. Now, I wasn't really, I'm not really feeling that. I don't like those style of skirts on me. I prefer if I'm going to have a slit, it either be in the back of the skirt or just on one side. Um... Again, I feel like when you have them on both side, sides of a skirt or dress, it feels dated. So, I'm not sure about that. But I just paired it today with just a sweater. A crop rock style sweater that I picked up from H&M last season. And then I paired her with the boots I just shown you. These are some snake skin, snake skin print boots that I picked up from Eloquy y'all, years ago. Maybe about four years ago. So... Um, this is very comfortable. This is something I'll definitely wear to the office if I decide to keep the skirt. But I'm still kind of um, on the fence. I'm looking at my viewfinder. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all tell me, does it look dated? Does it really give me auntie vibes? <laughs> I am an auntie, y'all. But I'm not sure about this one. I'm really not sure. So I'm going to let y'all be the judge of this. Um, it's a nice fit other than in the waist. I do, do like how it skins my body. But I'm not sure if I'll get enough wear out of this skirt. And I'm tired of buying things to just sit in my closet. So not sure. But again, this one is a size 22. Um, I should have definitely sized down to an 18. But I'm okay. I mean to a 20. I'm okay with the 22 because I do like the way it fit in the thigh. Um, but being as though this one is stretchy. I didn't know that. Again, didn't read the description. This is very stretchy. So you definitely can go down. If I wanted it to actually fit like the other, I probably would have had to go down to an 18. But I could have went down to a 20 and it would have still um, fitted me comfortably. So this is the next look.
And the piece that I hold are these boots here. These are the red thigh high boot from Eloqui. Um, and I picked her up on sale, you guys. Um, a couple of weeks ago, they were having a sale. And I picked these up for only, I think, $42. Or I know it was under $50. But they were in the $40 range. So I knew I had to jump on it. Now, to be honest, <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have got these boots. I already had these boots in black. But the black ones, um, I showed y'all seen those a couple of times in my videos. I wore those boots over four years ago. Over four years ago, I brought them around the time, even before the snake um, skin print boots, if I'm not mistaken. Now, those boots, I, I'm not sure the, if those were advertised at thigh highs or over the knee boots, but either way, those don't tend to stay up. These don't either. The only reason why I gave these a chance is because these ones have like this line in here. And that line there is like a panel. Um, once it gets up to a certain length on the boot, that is supposed to help secure the boot to your leg so they won't slouch as much. And the black boots, they don't have that. They don't have that at all. It's just a, a, just a whole stretch boot. And in the black ones, the black ones, the boots are very stretchy. So it can fit um, a person that may be two to three sizes bigger than me. Now, with these boots, they are a very sturdy stretch, almost to the point where I had to kind of grab and hold to zip it up. So, if you have larger legs than me, these probably wouldn't even work for you. Me having these larger legs, they still don't really work for me because what's happening is these can come all the way up as a thigh. Now, you see, these can come like all the way up to here. But what they're going to do is keep rolling. You see that? If I pull them all the way up, they're going to roll over, and then you're going to see the black part. That's why I just rather have them keep them down as kind of like a gist over the knee boot. Because when I wear them like this, they're not going to necessarily flip over where you'll see the black but these are going to keep going down your leg as the day go by. I feel like these to be thigh high, you have to have um, smaller legs. So you have to be kind of like apple shape. You couldn't be, um, or if you were pear shape, you have to have smaller um, thighs than I do. These just don't work for me. And these are extremely uncomfortable. They are extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> They don't have enough padding in the foot part. The, the heel is not giving me enough ankle support. And you definitely need that when you are a heavier woman. And then they roll down. So these wasn't worth actually keeping. But y'all, I waited too long. I thought they were going to work. I should have walked around my house a little bit. But I waited too long to send these back. As well as um, when I did try to kind of walk around a little bit try them on, figure out different ways to wear them without them rolling. I kind of scuffed the bottom up a little bit too much to send them back. So I'm okay. I will keep them because they're good for like a good photo op or um, if I just need a red boot for something and I'm going somewhere where I'm going to be sitting because they are uncomfortable. And I will say that I'm just going to be honest and I haven't heard anybody else say this before. But depending on the boots that you get from Eloquy, some of their boots can be extremely uncomfortable. Like, really. And you see that this is not even a high heel. I, I have done heels double the heel size of these and felt really comfortable in the shoe. But for these to be a low heel and for me to feel uncomfortable in the shoe, that's an issue. Um, I feel like I don't have any ankle support. It's not the heel. It's not the ball of my foot, not the arch. It's the ankle support. I feel like I don't have enough ankle support in this boot. But maybe it's just the way my feet are situated. Because sometimes I feel like I have plantar feet. So I'm not sure, but it's a cute boot. <laughs> Honey, she's giving. <laughs> she's giving. I love the red tone of this boot. Especially around this time of the year. Child, It's giving Christmas. It's giving holiday. And I love the way I paired it. I just put on a white button-down shirt. This is from H&M. 
last year i threw on this belt to cinch me and bring me in a little bit tighter in the mid region this belt is from the thrift store um and then i just have on these shorts these are a pair of dad shorts that i picked up from anthropology no not anthropology um Abercrombie and fitch i think <laughs> Child, it'll be on the screen somewhere, but I picked these up during the summer months, and I think it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. Girl, throw you on a little red small handbag, like a top handle bag, and you good to go. This is giving club. This is giving brunch. This is this is giving sexy, honey. It's just giving, but the shoe is uncomfortable. Beds so I have to keep them. Will I wear them? Heck yeah. I just have to find a place where I'm not going to be doing a lot of walking standing um and then i will have to keep them only to this length i cannot try to pull them up as a thigh high and try to be extra sexy but they look good as a knee high don't you think they look good as a knee high so this is the boo i think they still on sale they not may not be in the 40 dollar range but you can definitely um get them for a very discounted price right about now so that's what i think about the boots all right, my love. So that brings me to the end of this video. This has been a trying video, you guys. I have been recording for hours. Things just have not gone the way I planned for them to go. Um, my hair is a mess. My makeup is a mess because I ran out of my shade of foundation. And I had to wind up using a foundation that is darker than my complexion as well as it's not the right undertone so if i look all sides of crazy in this video ignore it because <laughs> normally i'm good um but yeah so i, I don't know when i don't feel cute i don't want to do a video and i don't feel cute today but we made it happen and i got these pieces out for you so and you bear with me so um if you have stayed this long Please do me a favor, like the video, thumbs it up, leave me a comment, and let me know what you feel about the pieces that I showed you today. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for, boo? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Subscribe down below, you guys. Make sure you turn on those notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. All right, I'm tired. Bye-bye. <laughs>